This is one of the most important features in Photoshop, so please listen carefully. Intro. Uh, you're not supposed to read that. Director. Uh, you're not supposed to read that. I've opened this image in Photoshop and you can download it using the link in the description. Let's say I want to remove everything but keep the banana. How do I do that? Well, I can use the eraser tool, unlock the background, and start erasing everything except for the banana. Like a fool. Never do that. Never. Or I can create a selection around the banana, invert that selection, and press delete to remove everything else. Like another fool. Never do that. Actually, creating a selection around the banana is fine. You can absolutely do that. But instead of inverting the selection and deleting everything else, simply go to the Layers panel and then click this button to add a layer mask. But what's the difference between doing that and just erasing stuff? Well, there's a huge difference. When you use masks, you're actually hiding some portions of the layer instead of removing them. And so you can unhide these portions later on if you want. And that is a big advantage. Let's say I changed my mind and now I want the pineapple too. How do I get it back? How do I unhide it? Take a look at the layers panel. There is another thumbnail that appeared next to the layers thumbnail when we clicked the mask button. This is in fact a layer mask thumbnail. And as you can see, it's a grayscale image where everything that is black is hidden and everything that is white is visible. You can click on it to activate it. And if I grab the brush tool, set the foreground color to white and start painting, I'll be revealing the hidden portions of the image, including the pineapple. Switch the foreground color to black and start painting again to hide the unwanted areas. And if you paint in shades of gray, then the hidden portions will appear in various levels of transparency. If you use the move tool and drag the layer, it will move with its mask. But if you click this link icon between the two thumbnails, then you can either move the mask without the layer or the layer without the mask. Oh, and by the way, the Properties panel gives you additional settings to control the layer mask when you activate it. You can control the density or the opacity of the mask, and the feather or the softness of the mask. Finally, if you want to disable the layer mask, you can Shift-click on it, or right-click and disable it from here, or just delete it altogether. You can also close this video because it's the end.